it's been in my family since 1949. My father was getting married. My mother had $500. They bought half interest in the Brattle Bookshop. We've had seven different locations over mm -hmm. the years. So I grew up with the business. Mm -hmm. And I worked after school in elementary, junior high, high school, summers during college. The hardest part about working here was working for my father. If you talk to people who are in small family businesses, that can be the biggest problem. Mm -hmm. And it was an issue. And one of the reasons I have a degree in chemistry was I wasn't planning on doing this. Mm -hmm. I was planning on doing something else. If my father had been 10 years younger and healthier, there was no way I could have worked for him. But within a year or so, or two years of me working here, uh, he had a heart attack. And back in 1970s, he was essentially out for a year. Uh, so I was, you know, uh, 23 or four years old. I had worked here a year or two. And then essentially I was running everything because he wasn't here. And it, it was, it worked. What I care about is that when somebody has an estate, somebody's moving, someone has a library, or there are estate lawyers or trust department that they know our name. Mm -hmm. And if they need to call people about books, that we get the call. Nobody knows everything there is to know about books. You never could, you never will. Mm -hmm. And actually, if you did, it might be boring. Mm -hmm. uh, it wouldn't be as interesting. But not only do you need to know that, you, but you really don't need to know everything. But what you do need to know is who does know. So there might be a colleague somewhere who's a specialist in books on science. Mm. Well, you know, you, you're on good terms with your colleague. You get something in or a collection and you call them up and say, look, could we go in with me on this? Or, uh, or what about this book? What should I look for? What should I check? So all you have to do is know who to call. I could go on for hours about technology and so on, but it, it's made a, a big change in the business. First of all, you don't need reference books. Mm -hmm. I mean, when was the last time you bought an encyclopedia or a yeah. dictionary? Mm -hmm. Art books. You, people would pay a lot of money for art books so they could see all the pictures. Mm -hmm. You don't need them anymore. They're, the prices have come down. But also, there are a lot of things that were considered rare mm -hmm. because they were just hard to get. Now, because of the internet, they actually weren't hard to get. They just weren't efficient. So it... it it affects it, it affects it tremendously, but people still like books, still buy books, still read books. It's change. And nothing that I say, do, or whatever is gonna change that, nor would I want it to. There's always change. Every generation looks at the past generation and said, well, this was how it used to be. And then that generation said, well, that's how it used to be. Somehow we get by. What's really the future for Battle Bookshop is there. Um, I'm not sure. I mean, I not plan sure. on doing this till I can't do it anymore. Mm -hmm. My daughters are in their 30s. Uh, her, one of them lives in this area. Her husband's a lawyer. She does real estate. They have a son. I'm not sure. My other daughter lives in Africa, in Kenya. She loves what she does there. She, I don't know that she's ever coming home. Mm -hmm. um, we'll see. Maybe my grandson. Maybe I'll live yeah. long enough. And yeah. he, he's one right now. Mm -hmm. So, you know, uh, I don't know. Um, but right now, it's, it's right now, as long as everybody stays healthy, the staff here mm -hmm. is very good and like it. I think it, it will continue on. And like I say, the fact that we own the property is probably mm -hmm. the absolute key to the business right mm -hmm. now.